Welcome to TacosTheGeeks.com. Justin here, back with more reviews. And we're going to do something a little bit different, which I'm hoping I can do at least monthly here on the website and on the channel if you're watching this on YouTube. And today we are going to kick off our Broadway slash off-Broadway and independent theaters and just mainstream theater plays. We're going to be doing hopefully a monthly review. I'm going to try to go to see a play a month, either VI lottery or press press seating, or I'm going to just you come out the own pocket, obviously, and do it myself. So today I want to kick this off with a show that I did was fortunate and blessed enough to get a, a press ticket to, and that is The Life in Slimes of Mark Summers. Here is my program, as you can see that right here. And as always, even with Broadway plays and off-Broadway plays, I'm going to give you that synopsis. So without further ado, here we go. From Nickelodeon to Food Network, America's favorite TV host tells about his extraordinary life in this part game show, part memoir theatrical adventure. Part interactive game show, part memoir, The Life and Slimes of Mark Summers takes us on a one man's extraordinary journey, both on screen and off screen. Mark Summers launched Nickelodeon as the host of the world's most famous children's game show, Double Dare. He went on to become a household name on the small screen, having a 20 year relationship with the Food Network as host of Unwrapped and executive producer of Dinner Impossible and Restaurant Impossible all while facing immeasurable challenges behind the scenes. On your mark, get set, get ready for a one-of-a-kind intimate theatrical adventure that will leave you inspired, hopeful, and feeling like a kid again. Now that is the synopsis of the show, and how was it? It did everything, everything that I was hoping for. Me, just a little bit of my history... And if you go through the history of the channel, if you go to history, you listen to the podcast, you know that I am a mid-80s baby born in 86, so technically a 90s kid. So I grew up. There were four shows for us Nickelodeon kids. I mean, of course, Snick and, and, and all this other stuff. There were four shows growing up as a kid that you wanted to be on, four game shows. There was Double Dare, Guts, Legends of the Hidden Temple and figure it out. And if you want to give a fifth one, family double dare because you want it to be there with your family as well. And what the life and slimes of Mark Summers does, it it's a full nostalgic trip for us 90s kids out there. You are going to love this. And one thing, just I got to say this, there is part game show in this. So let me just talk about that. So how does it work? Well, you uh, hope arrive there early <laughs> for sure. Definitely arrive there early, um, and you they hand out up this like a pa paper. You write your name, put yourself in a raffle, and if you get chosen, you're part of the show. You literally, they really do. I think uh, I believe it was a good fifteen minutes where Mark brings Double Deer to us. We it, I didn't get I didn't get chosen, but it was nice to finally see it live because if I couldn't be on the show, it was nice to at least get a glimpse of what it must have been like for those kids and those families who actually participated in these shows. It, it was so good because he he still has the humor. He still has that energy. It was just a transformative experience i i felt like i was back in front of my tv as a kid with my brother watching this going oh my god physical challenge physical challenge it was absolutely great and the slime part of the show it definitely delivers but the life part is where it's going to move you and it's going to hit you it it, it, it some people might feel that it might be a little dark you know, some people might go in there expecting this to be all light and roses and, oh, this is just going to be just like a nostalgic trip all the way, which part of it is. It is a nostalgic trip. But when he starts talking about his life and starts talking about his challenges, and I won't spoil it because if I tell you the challenges, I mean, you can look it up if you want, but because um, there's news headlines and things like that that Mark went through. But if I tell you the challenges, and it's not going to impact you as much when he's telling his story. And I think that the way it's presented and the way he delivered it and the way he balances humor and serious subject matter when it came to his life, the situations he was dealing with. I'll give you one. 
he's OCD. And the way he was describing his OCD with how he was just picking at things from a rug because the rug wasn't perfect. And the way he delivers it, it hits you. It just goes like, man. And especially back in the times when the, in the early 90s where OCD was not as much as knowledgeable as it is now. And it was kind of frowned upon. And people thought that something was like seriously, seriously wrong with you. And he just really brought that into it. This is so much heart. And especially at the end, the end, uh, my theater, we really just had to give a round of applause just because when he ended it with a complete nostalgia, but he hit you with such a life lesson and just such a, a, a feeling of everyone can overcome whatever challenges or whatever adversity they're facing. Now, if I'm going to nitpick here and there, which I, 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 I fantastic love the show. The show is really great. But if I'm just going to be a little nitpicker for one thing, there was one particular story that I felt was kind of glossed over. Um, there was a story about a stalker and it kind of kind of glossed over it towards the end where they did a lot of the buildup for it. And then it just went, oh, we found out who it was, but we're going to talk about this particular situation. It wasn't like really acted out, but he does a really great job here. And I really enjoyed it. Now, folks, you're probably wondering... How was the double dare? Was there slime? Yes, there's slime. Not what you think, but the slime does make an appearance here. It's called the life in slimes. You're going to see some type of slime on this show, folks. But how was the double dares? The double dares was great. I love the physical challenges that they had. Um, they did it. It's the, the stage is not like huge, huge. It's not the double dare set. So there's certain physical challenges you're not going to see here. But there is one physical challenge that does make a cameo in here, and I, I, we all applaud it with it. There is pie. There is pie, folks, so don't worry about that. There, so if you're looking for something, especially if you're like an 80s baby like me, if you happen to be in New York City, definitely check this out. This is at the New World Stages Theater. I believe it's Theater um, Auditorium Number 5, I believe. I can't remember, but... Yes, it's at the New World Stages Theater. It's on 50th Street between 8th and 9th. And obviously, you can look it up, Google it yourself. But I'm definitely going to, um, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I'm, how I'm going to do the ratings for this. I don't want to do letter grades. I don't want to do star grades. So I'm going to either give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. So that's going to be my, my uh, rating for this. So I'm going to give this a definite thumbs up. Thumbs up. This is a really, really good show. I had so much fun with it. Um, put your nostalgia goggles on, but don't just go there for the nostalgia because the life section of the show really hits you and it really was moving. I really did enjoy it. So Mark did a really great job of just telling his story and you're going to cheer for it. You're going to cheer for the adversity. And I think just like I said, people are going to go. It's a feel good show. People are going to go out there and they're going to feel good of how he was able to just overcome. You're going to hopefully get chosen <laughs> for the double dare um segment of the show because i think a lot of people are going to have fun with that especially yeah, there's questions you got to answer questions and obviously decide with your your random person unless you both come with somebody and they actually get chosen with you you'll be working with a total stranger and you guys gotta come up with a, uh, a team name and physical challenge and decide whether you're gonna go for the physical challenge and answer the question so yeah it was it was just pure n nostalgic 90 90s goodness and Definitely check this one out. Give it a thumbs up. This is Justin from AtakosTheGeeks.com. If you like what we do here, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Uh, what other Broadway shows or off-Broadway shows do you think I should check out? Comment below for my theater geeks out there. Let me know. And I'm going to try to do this monthly, like I said, because theater tickets are not, <laughs> not cheap. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing this monthly, hopefully. And, um what you think of the show and what would you like us to review next and as always thank you for your support and check out tacosagates.com if you're watching it on this website then browse check out our interviews check out our new interview with the uh developers of the indie game high water if you're watching this on youtube i know some have been asking me and des are currently working on season three of uwl we're creating the wrestlers so we'll be getting back to the uwl this summer so stay tuned for that but you can catch season one and two on the channel check out our spring anime 2024 reviews and i think that's enough shameless plugging here definitely go check out the life and slimes of mark summers 
at uh new world stages i think it's only 16 weeks only i think believes it ends in, i'm not sure it might end in june so definitely get your tickets now and later days i'll catch you on the next one peace love and happiness peace